Welcome to the Abundance Breakthrough Summit. This is your host, Lucy McMonagle. And today I am so inspired and so excited that we have Dr. Steve G. Jones, who is a PhD. He's also a clinical hypnotherapist, NLP trainer, life coach, and law of attraction expert. He is the founder of American Alliance of Hypnosis, American Union of NLP, and the Global Sciences Foundation. Dr. Jones has his doctorate in education from the Georgia Southern University and has also studied psychology at Harvard. He has created thousands of self-help recordings, programs, and certification courses to empower others. Dr. Steve, Welcome to the Abundance Breakthrough Summit. Well, Lucy, thanks for having me. I'm honored to be here. Wow, you are such an inspiration with your trainings for NLP, your trainings for hypnosis. You have studies for individuals who can really start being empowered, and you're truly about service and giving and caring about improving other people's lives. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions on your main focus is hypnosis. And how did you become interested in hypnosis to begin with? Well, I was in military school. My parents sent me to Riverside Military Academy in Gainesville, Georgia. You know, a lot of parents threaten to send their kids to military or boarding school if they don't shape up. Mine did, they followed through on the threat. So there I was Ooh. in military school. So I had to make the best of it. I was there in 10th through 12th grade, and uh, I got a book on hypnosis called The Complete Guide to Hypnosis by a PhD psychologist named Leslie LeCron, who's no longer with us. But mm -hmm. his, his book was a little paperback book, actually. Probably wasn't what I'd consider complete, but it was good enough to get a kid started in hypnosis. I read about how to do it, and I started hypnotizing my roommates in military school. They'd come in, they'd lie down on my bunk bed, I'd hypnotize them. I'd say, what do you want to work on? And so uh, it just developed into something that I really enjoyed. And I, I still have, that was in the early 80s, I still have some of my uh, fellow uh, cadets, we were called, from the school telling me about that, reminding me that I used to walk into the room at night and say, hey, does anyone want to be hypnotized? And uh, so all these years later, it's the same thing I was doing back as a kid in military school, except now the, uh, the people I'm hypnotizing are different. You know, back then I'd have smart kids come to me, they wanted to uh, study more efficiently. Well, now the smart kids are NASA. I have athletes coming to me wanting to, you know, get better at exercising and have more endurance. Well, now the athletes are the Dodgers. But aside from that, it's the same thing I was doing back as a kid in military school. Wow. That is so incredible that you, you found your passion so young and you've created over 2,000 hypnosis tapes. I could be wrong on the number there. Is uh, that well, 9,000 now. 9,000. Yeah. Wow, I am a little <laughs> I bit... Think a few behind. months ago. You know, we've been busy since then. <gasps> wow, and that's incredible. So what is hypnosis for the individuals on this summit that, that are not sure what it is, and how does it work? Well, hypnosis is just a relaxed state of mind. Like you go into when you're watching TV, reading a book, uh, when you just wake up and you're just going to sleep. Uh, when you're vacuuming, or anytime you're doing something that you can do by rote without really thinking about it, you go into hypnosis. So the only difference between that and what someone like myself would do, a professional clinical hypnotherapist, are two things. Number one, we're going to cause you to go into that state by using relaxing words. And number two, we're going to put positive suggestions in your mind while you're there. That is good. So you want, if, when you want to change something in your life, one of the easiest ways is hypnosis, is that correct? Well, as a hypnotherapist, yes, of course I'm going to say that, but I absolutely do feel that way. I think even if I weren't a hypnotherapist, I would look at it and say, hey, if you wanna get things done quickly, when it works, that's the quickest way. Yes, and I, I truly can contest to that. I've been using hypnosis, your hypnosis stuff for over three years now, and I've seen clinical professional ones too, So. I definitely believe in hypnosis and I believe in the power of it. So can you tell us a little bit, what does it feel like to be in a state of hypnosis? 
Well, it's different for everyone. It's a different experience for everyone. For some people, it feels like they're, they're flying or floating or, or sometimes even falling, but in a, in a gentle way. Uh, for some people, they feel like um, maybe the, there's a little spinning going on, just very slight. Uh, for some people, they just kind of feel like they're in a dreamy land. Uh, for some people, it doesn't feel any different than their normal experience, except that their eyes are closed and they're more relaxed. So it really depends on the person, the situation, depends on how deep they are, depends on uh, you know how alert they are. Sometimes people are caffeinated. Sometimes people are working with the hypnotherapist. They don't know the person. You know, for example, a female in a room with a male hypnotherapist, the first session may not relax very deeply because she may be a little cautious. She may be on alert. Even if she's not consciously aware of that, she probably, you know, automatically is because her limbic system is triggering her to, to be on alert. So it, it really depends on the situation and how, how much experience they have with it and how comfortable they are with it. Wow. That is really cool. I like the state of hypnosis, so the way it sounds for different people. So how can hypnosis really help people to become more abundant? Well, it does sound interesting, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds yes. almost focus pocus. It sounds like yeah. you're telling me, let me get this straight. You're telling me you're going to make me rich by, by talking to me when, mm -hmm. I'm, when I'm in a, some kind of zombie-like daze. You know, that's, that's how it sounds to people. And it took me a while to wrap my head around that. I thought, why are people not understanding this? And then I realized that's how they see it. They see it as a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You know, how is that going to work? Well, it's actually very scientific how it's going to work. It works by putting you into a state of hypnosis, which is a relaxed state of mind, where you're more receptive. Your subconscious mind is more open to suggestions. So we're able to open the access to your subconscious mind and bypass that nasty conscious filter. That's the thing that says, I can't, I won't, I shouldn't, I'm not good enough, you know, all that stuff. And we're able to bypass that. And so we're, and when we're able to bypass that, we're able to put positive suggestions in the subconscious mind. I mean, my dad used to say to me, I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face and you're going to do what you want to do anyway. Well, my dad didn't know hypnosis. So hypnosis allows you to, to get past that. And a lot of us think that way ourselves. We think, well, I could talk to myself till I'm blue in the face. I could tell myself I'm rich and I'm wealthy. I'm going to you know, have a good career and I could keep doing that. I could keep motivating myself. But why isn't this working? Well, the reason is it's not going deeply enough. It's not going to the subconscious mind. So that's what hypnosis does. Wow. Yeah, that, that's, that's really powerful because the subconscious mind really starts creating our outer world. Is that correct? Absolutely. Whatever we think, that's what we're going to get. If we think people don't like us, well, we're probably going to see that. And then they're probably not going to because we, we think that they're thinking that. If we think people are going to like us and love us, we're going to see that. And then they're going to like us and love us because we're, we're feeding that to them, that we're worthy of love, that we're good people, we love them, they love us. So that's, we always create our reality. We are constantly creating our reality. And it just makes sense, in my opinion, I mean, take it or leave it, it just makes sense to create your reality the way you want it to be. Yes, absolutely. I agree with that 100%. And I really love it when individuals in the, the audience here has that hope knowing you can create your life on your terms. You have control. It's up to you. And really understanding that when you have tools such as hypnosis from Dr. Steve G. Jones or being able to become more abundant because you're moving through all of the stuff that's preventing you and going deep, deep into the subconscious that makes it easier. Now, a lot of people, they might be asking, you were talking about the zombies, you were talking about you know, how, how it goes into a relaxed state and how they can become more abundant by putting this into it, uh, putting the, the suggestions into the deep subconscious mind. Could you tell us a little bit on how can people become more abundant in both their career and in their personal life? Okay, so specifically what techniques can they use to become more abundant? Yes. Okay. Well, I, in hypnosis, once we have someone in hypnosis, all we have to do is tell them. We just tell them that they're going to be this way. They're going to do that. Uh, it's going to work out for them. So uh, the short answer is we do it just by telling them. 
Now, there are some uh, things that people can do in their everyday conscious life that I think would help because the hypnosis, like when you get a hypnosis recording, all you do is mm-hmm. listen to it for 21 nights, that's it. But there are some things that you can do that will, that will really help that or that you cannot do that would really hinder that. Uh, one of the things you can do is start hanging around people who are successful in the way that you want to be successful. So if you want to be wealthy, how about looking for opportunities to hang around wealthy people? And that's one of the things that hypnosis will, will help you do. It'll give you the courage, the courage to do that. Well, you have to do it. It's like if you want to learn a language. Like when I went to Riverside Military Academy, but the one my parents sent me to, there are a lot of kids who came in and didn't speak English because the school recruited from uh, Latin America quite heavily. So they come in, they didn't know any English except maybe hello. About uh, maybe a few weeks, a couple months later, they were speaking almost fluent English. Now it is also a function of their age because their minds were still open enough to do that. But it's also about immersion. If you want to do something, if you want to change yourself, you've got to start hanging out with people who are doing it. If you want to learn a language, you've got to start hanging out with people who are talking that language because they talk a certain way. And the way, the way, they, the way they think of things is a certain way. So it's also culture. It's not just a, you know, a thought, when we get to money, it's not just, oh, I'm going to make money. There's a way that rich people think. There's a, they, there's a cultural way that they view the world and that they look at things and they look at uh, challenges. They look at them a certain way. When, when things are going on in the economy, they have a particular way to look at them that people who are not rich do not understand. And so you have to associate with people who speak whatever language it is that you're attempting to learn. Wow, and that's really true because when when you let's say you started out poor and you started using hypnosis, you started moving up the ladder, you'll start noticing that the people you used to hang out with, they don't they don't want to hang out with you anymore or they just start fading out of their out of your life. And then the people that you're moving towards start coming into your life and it's almost like a magical thing when you're watching it happen from an observer point of view. It is, it is, it's interesting. And, and I would also say that if that doesn't happen, then progress will not continue. So if you do not start to hang out less with the people who are not like you and hang out more with the people who are like you, then that progress will not continue. It doesn't mean you have to lose these friends who you had before. I still stay in touch with a lot of my friends who have, who have for lack of a better term, they remained at that point in their lives. And that's okay, because I'm not judging. I think that everyone should be wherever they want to be. But I've also realized that the language that I had when I, when I just hung around, when I just hung around them at that time, that language would never enable me to do what I'm doing today. It, would, it, just, it just simply would not support it. There, there are things that they just do not think of in the way that wealthy, successful people think of them. And that's not a judgment at all. It's just a simple fact. Wow. Dr. Steve, you are so incredible. And I really, really appreciate you talking about hypnosis and how people can become more abundant in their life and their career. Can you tell us a little bit, um, we've already talked about doing some of the steps where you hang out with the rich people or you hang out with the people speaking that language or you hang out with who, wherever you're, tr- you're choosing to migrate towards. Can you tell us a little bit on, are there any other techniques that people can incorporate in their life for this or are those really the primary ones? Oh yeah, there are all, there are all kinds of techniques that people can use if they want to. Uh, there's anchoring. We could talk about that. Would you like me to Oh, I would love it if you would talk about anchoring. That's a very fascinating subject okay. to me. All right. That's, that's kind of like meat, a meat and potatoes move. It's a mainstay for uh, those of us who use hypnosis and neurolinguistic programming, anchoring. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's very simple. That's, that's probably why it's our meat and potatoes, because it's so easy to teach. So all you have to do is think about a time in your life when you had the attributes that you need in the moment. So let's say you're working on 
uh, let's say confidence, you know, working on confidence. That's helpful in anything, especially in making money. It's very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to have the attribute of confidence. So all you do, and this is a trick from NLP, it's also something we got from Pavlov and his dogs, the, the Russian scientists a long time ago. It's been worked on ever since, and, and now it's not just useful for dogs anymore. It's also helpful for humans. So let's go ahead and talk about this. You think about a time in your life when you felt confident, when you felt good about yourself. And I'm not talking about arrogant. I'm talking about a time when you had real confidence that everything was fine, because that's what real confidence is. It's not a haughty arrogance uh, approach to life. It's the approach that I'm okay, you're okay, this situation's okay, everything's going to be okay, and I can fix this, or I can work with this, or I can make things happen. Everything's just, everything's going to work out, and I'm okay with it. That's what I mean by confidence. So you don't have to do this right now, but when, when the listeners get a chance, just think of a time when you felt that way. It could be any time. Maybe you helped a little old lady walk across the street, or maybe you helped someone do their taxes, or maybe you graduated from kindergarten and you felt good. It doesn't matter. So you think about a time when you had those good feelings, and then you crank them up in your mind to a level 10. I'm talking about the memory of that, the sight. You, you make everything crystal clear in your, in your memory. The sound, you dial the sounds up to level 10. The feeling, what did your clothes feel like? Uh, what did the atmosphere feel like? You crank that up to a level 10 where you're really experiencing it in a sensory way. And then all you do is make the okay sign with the right hand, touching the tip of your right index finger to the tip of your right thumb and mm -hmm. say the word confidence. confidence. There you go. And then you can let that go. And what we've done is we've created a bridge between where you are in that moment when you need confidence and where, when you had confidence. So by using that, which we call anchoring, we are going to put ourselves in remembrance of that. When we, when we do that, when we fire it off, as we say, we make the okay sign, we say confidence when we need it, that, that puts us immediately in touch with our bodies, our mind, our, our feelings in touch with that time when we had that. Now, for people who do that later, you can do it more thoroughly. And one thing you want to add to it is really feel those feelings at a level 10 and then anchor it. Wow, that is incredible. And it's so incredibly simple, too, to be able to really get to that point on where you felt however you want to feel and to just anchor it with something so simple as the okay sign. Thank you. Sure. Some of the best things in life are either free or simple. And that's, uh, that's one of them. I mean, it doesn't have to be rocket science. It's, it's uh, very straightforward. That's so true, Dr. Steve. Thank you for that. And you, we were talking about anchoring and hypnosis and how to become more wealthy and abundant and, and have more enjoyment and more confidence in our life. Can you tell us a little bit on how powerful is the subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is so powerful that it's, it's running the show. I mean, it's dictating everything. It, it dictated uh, what we did today, what, what you and I did before this interview. It dictated what the people watching this did before the interview. It, their subconscious minds told them what to do because that's what they thought they should do. That was the right thing or the efficient thing or the, the thing that they, that they felt compelled to do or the thing they're working on because they're building this career that they think they should build or they're planning a trip that they think they should go on. The subconscious mind is feeding all of that information to us all the time. Now, that's why things like hypnosis and you know, what you watch on TV and who you hang around with, that's why those things are so important because you're getting fed by them all the time in the form of your memories, in the form of who you're hanging out with, in the form of the things going through your head because you saw a certain commercial on TV. It's all being fed to you all the time and it's all directing your life. That's how powerful the subconscious mind is. Wow, wow. So individuals who are constantly watching television, let's say they love scary movies, how, how, that gets stuck in your subconscious mind then. That can, yeah. Now I'm not saying, I'm not here to kill the fun. I'm not here oh, to no. say- No, don't kill I'm the not fun. not here to say no more scary <laughs> movies. <laughs> a good scary movie every now and then so you know it's it, it's fine to live your life it's fine to do that uh and it doesn't mean you watch a scary movie and it's you know you're gonna become that or or, any, or manifest that in your life it doesn't mean that at all um so have some fun enjoy some movies but yes. if all you're watching all day long is scary movies or worse yet a news channel 
you know, you're watching that all day long and that's all you talk about with your friends and they're all into it also. And they're thinking, oh my goodness, we should be really, really scared here. We should be worried about every little thing. You know, I walk outside and the, the sky's still up there. The, the moon still comes out at night. The sun comes mm -hmm. out in the daytime. It's the same old stuff. Everything looks fine. But if you watch that little box too much, it might just get you a little, you know, amped up. So all I'm saying is that everything in moderation and be careful what you predominantly lean toward. Yes, I agree with that. So, Dr. Steve, we're, we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon on this interview, and I am so honored and so excited that you are giving us these tips on how to anchor and hypnosis. How do you have a special gift for individuals that you would like to offer to them so that they can get to know you better and your work? Uh, sure. If they want to go to my website, which is just stevegjones.com, they can get a free download on contacting your inner millionaire. That's that part of you that, that has that movie script or that, that product idea or that new company or that new app, you know, that part of you that you haven't unleashed yet because you haven't really believed in it. So if you go to stevegjones.com, sign up for that recording, that's going to help you tap into your inner power. Wow. Wow. That's definitely one that I'm going to be looking at getting in addition to the other ones that I've, I've gotten that I've purchased from you. Oh, so, excellent. Well, I'm honored that you, that you've done that. Oh, absolutely. And your work has really truly changed my mindset. It's changed my life. I used to be terrified of flying for some reason. Okay. And after listening to your hypnosis I, I go on a flight international now. The world is open to me and I feel at ease. I feel at calm. And I love sitting in the business class because now I meet other people who are in my range who are business owners. So it's a two for one for me. So is there any other tips that you would like to leave our audience before we sign off? Well, first of all, record, uh, regarding the flying thing, I didn't fly for a while after 9-11. I made that for myself, and that got me back out there flying. And a lot of people have told me that they've overcome their fear with it also. So thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. And I, I guess I'll just leave with, with this. Uh, it's the idea that it, you know, the musical group America said something about the Wizard of Oz. It said, Oz never did give nothing to the Tin Man that he didn't, didn't already have. And the takeaway mm -hmm. from that for me is that hypnosis isn't going to give us anything we don't have. It's not some kind of magic. It's not some kind of alien potion that's going to make you into a superhuman. No, it's just going to tap into the beauty and the power and the amazing potential that you already have. And sometimes that's what we need, a reminder of our greatness. Wow. That is so true, especially for all of the creative entrepreneurs who sometimes get frustrated because they're, they're not, they don't feel like they're tapping into their own greatness. And going to your website, getting the download for the inner millionaire is going to bring out your inner, inner millionaire and your millionaire ideas because every single one of us has an inner millionaire and has inner millionaire ideas. I completely agree with that. Well, Dr. Steve G. Jones, thank you so kindly for being on the Abundance Breakthrough Summit. I am so honored and blessed that you have taken time out of your schedule to really empower individuals. So I want to thank you personally and from my heart to your heart. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. I mean, I, I, without people like you doing things like this, then people like me with messages, we wouldn't get out there. We wouldn't be able to spread the word about the power of the subconscious mind and everything else that people are bringing, all the good things that people are bringing to the world. So thank you for being a facilitator for this. You're welcome. And I'd like to thank my audience also because you are the reason why I'm putting together these summits. You're the reason why I have my ETV show and why I'm getting up every day is to bring you this crucial information so that you can become more free, have more money, and have more joy in your life. So stay tuned for our next interview. We have phenomenal guests, and I would love it if you would go to our Facebook. If you haven't joined our Facebook already, please go to our Facebook. The links are in the emails for you, 
And I am looking forward to hearing from you soon. So you take care and until next time.